Antoine and Angers were both looking for their first win of the season when they faced off at the Stade de l'Aube. Angers had taken two points from their opening three games, suffering a disappointing 3-1 loss last time out at home to Brest. Certainly not helped by Salid Habanovic's early red card. The hosts, meanwhile, had lost all three of their matches so far and after overcoming the odds to survive last season, are already starting to look in trouble this campaign. There was an early warning for Troyes as Louis Dioni rounded Gauthier Gallon couldn't quite get the ball past the last defender and just managed to clear it off the line. Troyes would then manage to succeed where their visitors failed though. A cheap free kick given away by Bautista Mendy. An early yellow card. And then a pinpoint free kick from Ronnie Lopez was met with an even better header from Reno Ripa. And a stated celebration for a quite exquisite effort. The ball looping into the top left corner, leaving Paul Bernardoni with no chance. And the visitors' task would then be made harder still as Mendy earned himself a second yellow in a very early bath after just 20 minutes. Hands out in disbelief. And the studs certainly up too. You can see the pressure increase. Ball laid up on the edge of the area. Only a good diving save from Ben and only kept the deficit at one. Ronnie Lopez then also had the keeper airborne with a testing free kick. From the ensuing corner. Yuan Salmier timed his run to perfection, but was just short of perfection with his header, striking the post. Andre hanging on. Tua had won only one of their six top flight matches against Andre. 3 0 victory in 2017 at the Stade de l'Aube. The way things were going, that looked very likely to be increased to two here. So into the second half. Gerald Batikla looking fairly worried, rightly so, as the hosts picked up where they left off in the first half. Ripa again, testing the keeper from distance. Benedoni earning his money. Fresh legs brought on to try and make the breakthrough, including 17-year-old Wilson Odober. And they would finally make it 2-0 a couple of minutes later. Some excellent interplay, setting up Tieno Balde to find the bottom right corner. Odebert starting the move. Valde finishing it clinically. Perhaps resting on their laurels slightly, the hosts let their guard down. Saw their buffer halved just five minutes later, as Dioni did this time find the net. Gallon frustrated. In truth, little he could do about the deflected shot. Nice flick on from Wanis Taibi to get the ball there in the first place. Down the other end, almost a goal of the season contender when Captain Adil Rami, of all people, unleashed a firecracker from about 30 yards out. Swerved its way onto the top of the bar. The third would come and from a young man less than half the age of Rami. Odebert totally free at the far post to slide home his first ever professional goal. Stuff teenage dreams are made of. One final free kick to defend for Estac. But the job long done. 3-1 the final score. The winners finally get their first points on the board and in the process move out of the drop zone to be replaced by Angers.